here, here, and you can come above the leg. Now the hand, head, push, pull, let your pivot, side, up, down. Yeah. This is the most important thing on your feet in wrestling is understanding positioning. This position should be shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit farther, weight on your toes, heels slightly up, not like a ballerina walking around and your elbows come in and hand and head is up. Now, this is what it looks like from the side and most people here get a stiff back and even some coaches teach that. Well, if you're stiff and tight, you have to relax to contract. So we want to be relaxed. So when we're out here, we're shoulder width apart, I let you just let your arms fall down. See how my back naturally curves? Okay, but it's not beyond my sh shoulders. Never go beyond my my knees. My knees never go beyond my my toes. I don't. Have, I'm not like this, or I'm not like that. I'm in this position here, and this is a position you need to work on. And it takes a while to get some strength and muscle endurance in this position because it's not natural. So now, when I'm in this position here, my hands are out. These are my first line of defense. Okay. But right now I'm going to try to get an angle. So I'm going to move this way, like this. Now if he lets me get here, I've beaten him. If he lets me come this way here, I've beaten one step, I've beaten him. I've created an angle. If he lets me change levels, I've beaten him. Okay? So the game, one of the games you can play is, in drills, is he has to square up with me and change levels with me. I don't try to go in and take him down. I might reach for him and he'd have to pull that leg back and square up. Okay? Now, another drill is to teach this guy how to defend a high crotch, how to defend a double leg, and how to defend a single leg. And we call it the Anderson drill. Okay? And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot in. He's going to let me. And there's no pressure or weight put on him. If he's making my back tired and hanging on me, he's not doing it right. Or I'm bent over too much and I'm not doing it right. I come in, he pops, here, elbows, take it down. My shoulder is here. This locks into here. This foot doesn't stay here where he can grab it. When I'm here, it pivots. Pivots. Now when it pivots, then I drive, pivot, push up, right there's the leg, see, you have to like run through him, pick it up right there, bring it down, step right into here. So here, I pop, as I drive, this leg comes up, I control the heel, I place the heel against my hip. Now as I'm here, I'm going to pivot on that toe like coach said, and as I pivot on that toe, I'm going to make a small step behind me. As I do, I bring coach to the ground. I'm here. From this point here, a lot of opponents will try to reach in and grab the inside of your leg and possibly try to go for a knee bar. To avoid that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slam my shin right down on the top of his bicep. As I do that, I don't allow him to get underneath my legs. From here, I can cross side, control the head, Stretch my leg out, and I'm in a controlling position. Those are drills. These are called uh, hand fighting drills. Where you're here, you move them, you move them, you push him, you push him. And one guy just stays there and tries to keep his balance. He's going to stay in the middle, and I'm going to hit him, move him, move him, pull him, 